Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can send a transactional email to your customers automatically when they cancel their subscriptions for your products or services. So guys, here I'm going to take an example of a course that you're running on subscription based model and you're selling that course through Stripe application, which is a kind of payment gateway to receive payments of subscription based business models. And guys, as and when your customer is going to cancel the subscription, an email will be delivered to that customer automatically to inform it that your subscription has been properly canceled. Okay, and we are going to set up this automation without any coding super easily. So let's start. So we are setting up this automation using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the same link in the description as well. And you can see a Christmas time offer is going on here. And guys, if you sign up right now, you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you can follow me through this video and you can set up your first automation. And after signing up, you can just click sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect right here. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here, send. So I have given the name as send subscription cancellation emails. Now you can click on this create button and you can see your workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up our automation. So guys, trigger is the event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the response towards the trigger. So here in this trigger module, you have to connect that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. And here in the action step, you have to choose that application in which you want to perform any action automatically, right? So guys here, the trigger application would be Stripe because through Stripe, we are selling a course and Stripe will be our trigger application because the subscription is going to be canceled through that only. Okay. So let me first search for Stripe here. This is Stripe application selected. And the trigger event would be canceled subscription. Okay. And uh, it will give you this webhook URL guys. So with the help of this URL, we are going to make a connection first with Stripe. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection by performing a test submission. Okay. So you just need to follow these steps written here to do that. Let me show you directly how you can make this connection. So guys, I'm going back to my Stripe applications dashboard. And here guys, you can see we are under test mode. Okay. So guys, here you have to click on this developers option right here. And under developers, you will find this webhooks option. Click on it. And guys, here you have to click on this add endpoint button. Click on it. And here in this endpoint URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you got here in your workflow. So you just have to copy this URL and you have to paste this URL here in this field. Okay. You can provide a description of this endpoint as well. And here, this endpoint is going to listen to events on your account. Okay. And this is the current version. And here you can see we have this select events option. Click on it. And here you will find all the events. So here, guys, we are going to select that event on which you want to send the data from Stripe to your workflow. So I want that whenever any customer cancels the subscription, the details of that cancellation will be sent to the workflow and triggers the workflow. Okay. So for that, you have to scroll down and select the customer events and under customer option, you will find all these events. And from here, you have to select this one customer dot subscription dot deleted. Check this box. Okay. Then click on add events option. And this event is added here. Now you can click on add endpoint and an endpoint will be created for this event. Okay. Here we have created an endpoint, right? Now guys, here you can see as we have copied the webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response. So this means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means now you have to manually cancel a subscription from your uh, Stripe's dashboard. Okay. 
And for that, you just have to go back to the Stripe's dashboard. And I'm going to click on customer section. And here we have these customers who have subscribed to our course that we are running. And let me choose any of my customer who is still subscribed. And here I'm going to deliberately manually cancel this subscription because we are under test mode. And as I'm going to cancel this subscription, the details will be captured here and that will that those details will act as the test data for us to set up the automation further. OK, so let me just cancel this subscription for this test user customer. OK, here I'm clicking on these three dots and here we have cancel subscription option. Let me just cancel it. OK, and I want to cancel it immediately and I do not want to provide any refunds and I'm going to click on cancel subscription. And here you can see guys, the subscription got canceled here, right? Now let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured of this cancellation. And here you can see guys, we got the data captured like this. It is showing the event type as this customer subscription deleted. And when you scroll down here, you will see the status as canceled and you will see all other details as well. The price, the amount. Okay the course's name php core for beginners okay and here you can see all other details but guys you can see here it is not showing us the details of the customer like the email id or the name of the customer it is just showing showing us this object customer label and here we have this customer id okay this is the customer id but it is not showing the customer details actually so we are going to fetch out the customer details using this action step. So here we are going to connect with Stripe again. Okay. And the action event to get the details of sub customer is this. Let me show you. Retrieve a customer by ID. Okay. Select this option. Then click on connect. And from here select add new connection. And here it will ask for the API key of stripe account to connect with stripe here in this action step okay so to get this key you need to go to the developers option same so here we have this developers option and here we have this api keys option under api key you will get this key here so you just have to click on this reveal test key button and it will be revealed like this and now you can copy this key and paste this key here in this token field like this and then you have to click on save and you will be connected with stripe again okay and here it is asking for the customer id so guys we have received id here let me just show you again this is the id we have received so guys i am going to map this label that i have received here in this step okay to map the label you just have to click here and the trigger step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will see all the data right here so from here you can just search for customer id here you can see and click on it to map it. Okay. Now click on save and send test request button and you will get the details of your customer like this. Now it is showing the country of the customer, the currency used by the customer, the email ID, the name. Okay. So we got all the details of customer. Now I want to send an email, a transactional email to this customer. For that, just click here on this plus icon. And in this action step, we are going to connect with Gmail application to send an email to the customer, right? So the action event would be send email. Then click on connect here. And from here, select add new connection. Then click on connect with Gmail. And from this window, you have to choose that uh, email ID by which you want to send the email. Okay, so select that ID here. And then you have to provide some additional access to your account. So for this, you just have to click on continue and that is completely safe and you will be connected with Gmail like this. All right. And here it is asking for the recipient's email address. So guys, here you have to provide the email address to which you want to send the email. That means the customer's email address. And here we got the details of the customer in this step, in the previous step. So let us map the details. So I'm just going to click here and from the second option, I'm going to map the email ID of the customer like this. Okay, so I do not want to put anyone in CC or BCC. So I'm leaving these things blank. 
in the sender's name you can provide your firm's name i'm putting the name as uh pavli course let's see uh, teacher right this is the sender the email subject subscription cancellation or cancelled okay this is the subject and here you can select the email content type i am selecting plain type and here in this email content field you can actually type a standard email for all your customers who is cancelling your subscription so let me type an email here so guys i have written this email here i am just type uh, writing to my customer hi first of all we appreciate you for being the part of the community as per your request your subscription has been cancelled and we would like to learn the reason behind your cancellation okay so this is kind of standard email i have written and after this hi i want to mention the name of my customer and i am going to map the name of my customer from the previous step for that you just have to click here after hi okay and from the second step you will get the name of the customer and you can map it here so this is the name label just map it okay and here you can map the name of your course as well so uh, after, here in this sentence we appreciate you being the part of dash community so after the i am going to map the name of the course that my customer has subscribed this is the course's name okay right so when you map the labels here like this guys what will happen in real time whenever in real time your customer is going to cancel the subscri subscriptions these labels are going to change here and new email will be sent with new data to new customers okay that's why it is important to map the labels right now you can check your connection with your email application by clicking on save and send test request button and a test email will be delivered to this address so to show you the demo let me enter my email address here and then i'll click on save and send test request to show you how the email is going to look like so guys let's say this is the email inbox of my customer and here i am clicking on save and send test request button and let's see if the email is going to be delivered or not and here you can see we have received this response and we have just received a new email and the email is from Pabli course teacher the subject is subscription cancelled and when you open it you can see hi test user first of all we appreciate you for being the part of this course community as per your request your subscription has been cancelled and we like to learn the reason behind it so this is the same email with the same details i have mapped here and it got sent right so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever you are going uh, your customers are going to cancel your subscriptions these kind of transactional emails will be delivered automatically and this workflow is going to run in the background and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.